Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to do a quick modification to your table saw to help you cut handholds a lot safer. Uh, instead of the way we typically do it, we lower the box onto the blade hoping that it doesn't kick back or kick out. Or some guys are cutting their handholds before the box is even assembled and they're using their hands to hold the pieces. I'm going to show you how to turn your cheap table saw into a plunge cut. And I mean cheap. You can get these table saws on uh, Craigslist, Kijiji if you're in Canada, Facebook Marketplace. You can get them. People are almost throwing them out. These saws are 20 years old and easy to come by. So what you're looking at is a table saw taken apart. This is my uh, Corbett molding cutter head. It's the profile for my uh, hand holes. So this is the height adjustment on your table saw. And this little pointer, that would be your angle. So I want to show you how to take your table saw apart to make these modifications. This pin would be in this hole. It's a compression pin. Just tap it out with a, a punch, I guess, and a hammer is how I took it out. And then this, uh, I don't know, let's call that a snap ring. That snap ring's on here. And how it works originally, this is in here, that sleeve, this washer, this snap ring holds that washer, and then this pin is just so the handle can grip the shaft. As you turn your handle, the screw, I don't know if you can see in there, the screw raises the head. The washer holds holds the uh, the head and the screw I guess the screw on the head so that when you can screw it in it raises the head if you take off the snap ring the pin the shaft moves if I can get this on one shot when you lift the it's hard to do this with one hand so when you lift the head the pin will go in. So this is how you make your tail saw a plunge cut. You basically just push in on this pin and the head will go up with all these pieces removed that act as a stop. So if you watch when the head goes down that pin should come out. This tail saw is rusty it needs some work. I gotta clean it up. So this moves a lot easier on a good working table saw. So I'll pause this. I gotta go to the other shop. I'm already working on modifying a table saw that I already had. And I'll show you what I did there. This is the other table saw. So I've taken I've taken out the snap ring, the washer, and the pin. Get it focused for you. Now what I've done is I've put a smaller washer in behind. There's a collar on the shaft. You want it to the smaller washer to bring up on that collar. Then I've built out the shaft. There's uh, threads on there. I didn't want to damage the threads. This is something that you can set your table saw up, do all your hand holes, and then put back to a regular table saw. This doesn't really uh, permanently modify your table saw in any way. So I built it out with washers, and then this here 
you'll see in a minute this stops that shaft from turning because as you turn this shaft your blades gonna go up and down so once you have your height set on your blade you don't want to cut too deep or too shallow on your hand holes this keeps the blade at your set height so back to the washers I built the washers out to put the nut out at the end to protect the threads you'll see in a minute the handle I have if you weren't protecting the threads it would damage so up here I welded on uh, just two little I guess they're called ears and there's a hole drilled through for a bolt you'll see how my handle was on here in a minute So, my handle is just a one inch square bar that I drilled a hole through for the bolt. It goes up through here and goes into these ears up in here. I gotta set the camera down and put that bolt in, and I'll be right back. All right, so get the focus. The bolt's in. The rod or the uh, handle is up through that strap. <clears throat> this table saw is not smooth either, so when I push in for the blade to go up, it wants to come out on its own, but not all the way. So that strap allows you to pull the blade back down. Also. That strap was originally to keep the shaft from turning, which is adjusting the height of the blade. So, I'm pushing in on the uh, handle, and you can see the blade comes out like a plunge cut. Get that to focus. I'm going to put a foot pedal, I think. I'll just use my foot. Um, so, I'm pushing in. Up comes the bleed, pull the lever, down goes the bleed. So that's it. That was about, I don't know, an hour's worth of work. Uh, so you'd want this fence I threw on here right quick for the video. I, I would use stoppers that would get your position correctly. Some of you like longer handles. So with the stopper, you can slide forward and uh, make your handle longer. My uh, molder head cuts a perfect handle without sliding it. So I would just shove mine in and raise the blade and lower it and I'd be done. But some of you guys might want a longer handle. This on your fence is to stop the... the <clears throat> box side the panel the box panel from coming up this way here you don't have to put your hand anywhere near the blade so you would start back start the saw shove your foot on the pedal raise the blade and then push forward lower the blade and be done so I'll put the in a tripod here and I'll demonstrate it working I guess I didn't put my this is just a dado my uh, motor heads on that other saw I've shown you and this saw is dedicated for a dado a dado stack so I'm not about to change that for the sake of the video but you get the idea so give it a second Okay, I'm ready to start the saw, so this is your warning. If you've had the volume up, I would turn it down. Saws are noisy. i got to put on some uh, hearing protection and glasses.
right, guys, you got to admit, that's a lot safer. I've seen some pretty sketchy videos out there. Uh, the guy I got my box handles from, or my, sorry, the guy I get my boxes from, he's been a woodworker, fine furniture, for 28 years, and he cut his thumb. First time he's cut himself with a table saw, he's lucky that he's got his thumb. So, him and I come up with this idea, and uh, he bought a cheap saw, and we modified it. And I want one for myself. Not that I make my boxes, but this video is more to help some of you guys because I seen a video the other day. It's pretty sketchy. This is a lot safer. Uh, nice, nice handles. Use your motor head or use your data, whatever you want to use. Uh, but you get the idea. And the disclaimer, the disclaimer here is, I'm not responsible, but I guarantee you, this is a lot safer than what you've been doing.